know if you guys can see this at night in Detroit. There's big, wide open, see big, wide open spaces where there used to be houses and everything's like torn down now. Do you see that? This is off of Van Dyke in like five miles, six miles. See all the empty spaces? Because this would, you know, at one time, on the other side of this is a huge cemetery. But now you start seeing like, like marijuana place. Ooh, wow, this is closed, you know. Mount Olivet's name of the streets, name after where my grandparents are. This is another huge cemetery up here on the right coming up. But see all these huge spaces? This is a real beautiful church right here. This is Notre Dame church it's just gorgeous it's a catholic church it's gorgeous see it it's beautiful but i should have did this in the light and i will do this in the light because i'm not going to be working here no more and i i just thought about it now i'm like people who don't live here would probably like to see you know what's detroit like this is a hardware store i'm going to at least open the window so you guys can see some of the stuff going on now this cemetery right here is a cemetery that's where all my relatives are buried i feel they watch over me down here my all my dad's side the hadella side um that's not arabic that's polish it used to be like hadella winsky or something but when whoever came to america changed it it's not that it's they shortened it but um yeah, this is a huge, huge cemetery. All my relatives are buried there on my dad's side. And my grandma and my grandpa. Clara, Hadella, and Andrew. I love you, grandma and grandpa. Um, it's a beautiful cemetery, but, you know, take your chances going there. Because this is a bad neighborhood. It's a shame. But thank God, it's four years I've worked down here. Everybody's been really nice to me. But yeah, there's like, I'm going to show you. There's just like gas stations and party stores. There's nothing really on, on here. Now, if you go to Woodward, a major street is built up. It's not bad like it used to be. Things are getting better. Don't, you know, think it isn't. Now, this is another nice church. I believe this is a black church. But it sh there's no shouldn't be no such thing as black or white. This is Perfection Church or whatever. You know, you, you could go to it no matter what color you are. I pr I'd probably be the only white person going there, but what does it matter, you know? Um, I'm cold. I'm trying to show you this. I should have did this. During, I will do this during the day, but I just want to kind of... I'm thinking, like, you know what? People might want to see where I drive through to go to work and get an idea. i got to shut this one window. I'm just too cold. Um, see, then you got your stupid party stores. Party store, party store. You know, it's like party store haven. Yeah, liquor, liquor, liquor is quicker. And then they got a wonderful sign called Sam up here. The stupid signs call Sam, call a lawyer. Sam Bernstein's a big Bernstein, and a big lawyer in Michigan. See, injured, call Sam. The damn sign is... Probably a million dollars. Probably not that much. But on the corner here, again, liquor, gas station, Captain J's fish, fish and chicken. But it gets better when you get more towards my area of where I live. It gets it gets better. God, my neck is itching. This is an income tax, something, tax services. I don't know what this is. Here's a funeral home. This used to be a bank there. Uh, I'm going to try to hold this because there's construction up here, again, where I live. And i got to kind of take a different way going home, I think. Now, on this corner, here's McDonald's. McDonald's and CVS and Burger King. Now that's more normal. But this corner, Outer Drive, used to be a show place. Like my dad growing up, like that was all the rich people lived on Outer Drive. It's got beautiful houses, you guys. Houses, 
that would make your mouth drop open. And some people screwed them up and some brought them back. Now this is a World Mark dollar store. This is a BP gas station. There's a Dollar Tree this next door. Up here, here's a Dollar Tree right up here. It's closed, you can't see. And, and this is an event place. This is a bank, Chase Bank. And this is 8 Mile. Like Eminem 8 Mile, it gets better from on here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. This is a cannabis again, phone place, insurance. I gotta wait to the next light because all these cars are gone. They're they're fixing this part of the road here. This is this is it's real bad. I'm so glad they're fixing that. You do not even know. Okay, I can go. I can get over here. Now this is 8 Mile. It's a big, big, big major street. They got cops up there. Somebody must have got in trouble or something. Hit something. Like, there'll be major stores on here. Not, not all bad stuff. So, I'm really close to work. I mean, it's ridiculous how it couldn't work out. God forbid it could work out where I work and be close to home because I'm so close to home. I turned this on about two minutes, three minutes getting on the road from leaving my job. Bel Air, they used to be a huge movie theater, shopping center. There's still some stores here, but not like years ago. And then there's a there's a furniture store here on this corner going on like my side street, Romeo and Juliet. It's uh it's all furniture, Romeo and Juliet, zero down best in town, and same same day delivery. I, I know the I know their little chime, their little their little thing. And now these are all factories back in here. These are side streets leading to my side street, right? But this is all cleaned up. This is not like what we just drove through. These are all commercial buildings cleaned up. They're doing construction down this road too. But I just, I'm going to show you during the day before I leave Detroit for good for work. Well, I'm going to work in a different part of Detroit too. I'm going to work uh, at a hotel. And that's alright. That's okay with me. A couple days a week and then out somewhere else. I don't want to quite say yet. That's okay. But um, I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like if you're living in a different city than me. But these are apartments here. These are kind of ghetto-y apartments, to be truthful. But it is what it is. And then this is uh, this has been here forever. It's Ellis Brothers Towing and repair they've been here forever and actually the guy that works overnight is that guy my husband's friends with this guy that one i thought that was dangerous he's not dangerous he's a sweet guy he's okay he's not bad so anyways i'm gonna put this down because you really can't see anything else and I'm, I got a couple more streets and then it's my street. I love you guys. Like and subscribe. I just kind of want to show you how empty the lots are in Detroit at night. Love you guys. Like and subscribe.